Hello GameReplays.org and welcome to another exciting tournament. Uh, you joined us here on the 11th, getting through those numbers quite quickly now, having one every week. So game today then is between the legends and our newest champions, Five. So it promises to be quite a good game. I've heard that um, the legends scrim regularly against We Heart Pigs. Could have been misinformed, but hopefully not. Um, so we are in the quarterfinals at the moment, and as they all pick their heroes, I'll just run through the lineup for you all. So for the legends, then we have Corrupted Disciple, Forsaken Archer, Pestilent, Hammerstorm, and Pyromancer. So we all know about Corrupted Disciple's ability to deal out a lot of good damage, especially with his good ganking. For Electric Tide, Archer, new um, hero in being introduced for Hon, has been able to. Um, be a very very decent carry. Been used a lot now in these um, tournament games. Pestilent zone, we should probably be seeing him carry. And then we have Hamstorm and Pyro. Both with a couple of good stuns and ultimates, gonna deal with that some damage. So for five then, we're gonna be seeing Defiler, Pharaoh, Predator, Magmus and Demented Shaman. So we're just gonna run through them. So Demented Shaman, we all know, great babysitter, Magmus, powerful ultimate. Predator, might be seeing him jungling to help get some extra levels for the team. But, um, a bit of an anti-carry, being able to drain a lot of life and doing a lot of damage. Then Pharaoh, great initiator. And Defiler, a pick I'm particularly excited to see. Haven't seen her much recently. I think she got a bit nerfed in some of the past patches, but um, a bit of a buff for this one. Should be seeing some good action then here. I'll see which way they all go into their lanes. So it looks like we're going to have the hammer pyro combination. Good aggressive lane for um, legends. Going to deal out some strong damage. Hopefully, looking for some early action. As I said, corrupted cipher will be middle then because of his great ganking capacity and just dealing out damage. And then pestilence and forsaken archer. Forsaken archer might have a different role here. Sort of babysit and pestilence. We'll see which one they choose to do. Top them, it'll be defiler and magmus. Both being able to deal out quite a bit of damage, so could be able to counter this stun wise, but um, I expect Legends, if they play well, to be able to get some kills up there. Pharaoh middle then, common thing, being used to get his ganking better. Early action here with Hammersaw Morassin. Double stuns come in, Corrupted comes in as well to do some damage on Defiler. Looks like we're going to have some very early action. One more hit, probably going to get away, but Corrupted Disciple has got a bit more movement speed. Should be able to kill. Wow, gets the kill. Less than 15 seconds. Not a good start for 5. Got caught out by that early rune ganks. We'll see Corrupted now moving down, back to middle. Ward's going out by both teams to block uh, Creep pulling. You'd expect that by now. So we'll have Shaman and Predator bottom then, so we'll have no jungling here. Just solid babysitting from Shaman then to keep Predator, help him level up, get the items he want. We'll see who gets the other hand out of this then. But, um, well, so it'll be interesting to see which, um, what Forsaken Archer goes stat wise, um, ability should I say. Let's see if she goes more supporting, or just going to be all out aggressive. Again, harassed quite a bit here by the Demented Shaman. Both taking equal amount of damage though, but Shaman's always got that heal to give buff him and his allies. Middle, we see Corrupted Disciple doing some quite a bit of damage towards Pharaoh. That range coming in handy, able to do damage from afar. I'll have a check in a minute, see who's getting the better of these creep kills and denies. Probably won't be much in it yet, but um, right now at the moment, four apiece for um, Angry Test Tree and uh, Cool Rock, the Pharaoh and Crypt Disciple. So we'll just see how that progresses. I expect, as I said, I expect um, Legends with their top lane to make some move with Pyromancer just harassing with the stuns and Hamsel following up, vice versa. But Defiler and a nuke, especially with his quick cooldown as the levels progress, is going to deal out a lot of pain, especially to the squishy hero Pyromancer. Not going to be a one you want to mess with after too long. But then again, Defiler's equally squishy, but um, she might be end going for, I say, Ham the Black Legion. It's always a good item to um, tank up a bit, soak in some of that damage. At this moment, Creep Denongs are in favour of um, TEL with 13 compared to 5 7 as a team. And even the Creep kills just by 3 more though. So they're getting there for hand here. 
We have Forsaken Archer grabbing a lot of these runes, taking it away from Pharaoh, he'll probably be getting his bottle soon, if he can get enough farm for it. So, um, rune, rune control's going quite nicely for the legends. They want to keep taking it away from Pharaoh as much as possible, just to avoid any possibility of an early gank, or just, you know, letting Corrupted Cycle damage him as much as possible. Bottom here, we have action though, with Predator, just caught the last of it. Forsaken Archer of Going Invisible, able to uh, use that Crystalline Volley off just to get the stun, do more damage. Pestilence though, pretty hurt. No more um, health available. Gonna have to use the Courier to get some. I'll just stay at the very back, just in case for a leap or a stun from Demented Shaman. It's gonna cause some trouble. We'll see. There we go, the Courier's just coming off now with some more health. We want to keep pecked up to stop any unwanted gank. We're going to see more action here with moving in then. Predator, oh, he uses his stone high to good effect. They're focusing on the same person, but oh, stun goes off by Archer. He's going to stay around. Oh, heal goes in. Does damage at the same time. That's what, deme that's what makes Demented Shaman so effective. So they get the kill. First Blood goes out. Well, no, First Blood already out earlier, didn't it? Forgot about that. So, but First Blood 4-5 of the team. They're always going to want that. Uh, I wonder who got it. I think the heal, so got it. Yep, so Blavo, the Demon Shaman, did get the kill, so unfortunately the Predator can get it. Action mid then, we have Corrupted Cybal, dealing out damage to Pharaoh. Oh, low health, but he's now got his bottle, using the last of it. It's going to be a race to see who gets the rune. We have Demented Shaman waiting there. Corrupted Cybal might be in a bit of trouble. He's going to do damage, Pharaoh's going to grab it, and Demented Shaman's going to come help. Gets the heal. How far might go up? Here we go. How far goes up? It's going to slow him down. Maybe enough for Demented Shaman to get up to do Entangle. Not going to be needed though. And down he goes. Blava gets another kill. Not taking any chances here. Probably letting. Um, might not be the wisest decision, but um, at least the kills get done. That's the worst thing you can do is let your enemy escape, even by a low amount. It's always pretty hideously annoying. It could prove pretty effective later on in the game for your opponent team. Let's see how um, Pestilence is farming up and Archer compared to Predator. I think Demon Shaman has been doing some good um, babysitting here, allowing Predator to get oh only seven to four, so not especially well, but um, better than Archer or Pestilence have been doing by themselves. As I said, it'd be interesting to see which one becomes the more of a carry at a later game. But we might have a gank here with Hammerstorm middle with his stun available. Gonna make a move on Pharaoh, but he's gonna get too close to the tower, sees it coming, overload goes in. Not gonna be able to catch him. Oh, hammer goes in, they should be able to get the kill here. Oh and kill we get. Good play there, good gank. Uh, that ward by the legends up top, obviously not no one there. Oh, action bottom then. Pestilence finally goes down, they're gonna go for Forsaken Archer. Might have enough for a stun or entangle should I say from Tremendous Shame, but nope, not enough. So another kill for Blavo. Tremendous Shame has got a lot of gonna ha it's got a lot of gold here from those income. That's gonna have him quite a bit. Just to get some of those items, probably restoration zone to help the team. Unless he goes for more say damage output type of shaman build, but I don't really expect the chances to happen for that to be built. So another death for the legend then, Pestilence is going to have to come back. Got his march now, you start seeing them more and more on each class, each hero. They've seen the regen, Predator takes it instead of um, Pharaoh, not needed with a full model yet. Might have a gank then on Corrupt Disciple then, he's a bit far out. Demented Shame is running. He's moving top though, he might have been seen. There we go, oh no, it goes all the way around, they could wait. Don't fancy their chances. Magnus might be looking for a gank top. If I just switch up there. He is seen by Hammer though. Pyro might be able to get the stun off, but no. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. That mini nuke goes out. Takes out Pyromancer. As I said earlier, particularly squishy. Able to go down and quite a bit of damage if Defiler gets it leveled high enough. Did 250 damage, or could have just upgraded it now. Corrupted Disciple. Oh, ultimate misses by Angry Tessie, the Pharaoh, but might not be enough. Oh, 